The book is called Graffiti New York, and it covers writing in New York City from probably the late 1960s until present. Grew up in the Lower East Side of Manhattan, started tagging in the mid-70s, kind of became a bit more of a fan than a graffiti artist, and I started photographing the work, mainly because a lot of it has such a short lifespan. You get to see it once, and then it's gone, and I didn't want that to happen. Did that for a couple of decades, actually, photographing while I was writing as well and eventually built a large body of photographs of New York City history and uh, put together a website called atwell49street.com. At the site, I interviewed dozens and dozens of graffiti legends and heroes of the culture. Eventually, that led to doing a book on the culture. Yeah, what's good, NYC and the rest of the nation? This is On 2, I'm repping the VO5 crew. We here doing a little something something for the book, Graffiti New York. If you ain't got it, go cop it. Yo, what up, man? Last one. We here at the art site, but we gonna get busy. My name is Martha Cooper. I'm a photographer. I've been photographing graffiti and hip hop since the early days, and with Henry Chalfant, I published a book called Subway Art, and it basically sent graffiti out into the world. There's a book called Subway Art, which Martha Cooper and I made. It came out in 1984. 35 years ago, I started to take pictures of graffiti on the trains, of which there was a lot happening. Like in the mid-70s, the trains were bombed. The beautiful artwork, and I had been watching it evolve over the years, and finally took my camera and went and took pictures of it. What was it like to know now that you were a part of bringing graffiti to the world. Well, you know, then it was like a really underground movement, and I never in a million years saw that it was going to go anywhere else. I thought that I was taking pictures of something that only could happen in New York City. So I'm surprised and pleased, of course, to look back and know that I was part of that. What do you see as the difference between where graffiti was then and where it is now? Well, then it was something that very few people knew about, and now we've got predominant worldwide art culture. When the art world got interested and we started having shows, then the media got interested and then the world got interested. And so this thing is spread around the world from New York City. And writers from back in those days are the ones who kicked it all off. If you look at all graphic design today, you look at street art today. I mean, where did it come from? It came from graffiti. We're at the NYC Art Cipher. This is like one of the first places that in this era, I did a piece which is in the book Graffiti New York. Art Cipher is a really, really cool place because it's kind of filling a void for younger artists. In the old days, a lot of us just sort of had to paved the way for ourselves. A lot of younger writers can come over here, talk to older writers, uh, learn the history of, of the movement. Before hip-hop, before graffiti, there was nothing. There was none of this. There's always been a need for after school, for people to come and learn stuff, for people to come and create. Another positive aspect of the place is that since a lot of the older writers are established artists at this point, they can direct the young people to make a living as an artist, and I think that's really positive. going on this is last one we got a lot of people up in here OG2 Fabulous 5 we got my man on too Henry Chalafont we're celebrating the book Graffiti New York right I'm here at New York City Art Cypher my promotion for my book Graffiti New York really happy with the turnout and really grateful to on too and last for putting this event together Graffiti New York yeah one of the hottest books that been put out in the last five years people thought graffiti was a fact a fact is not like almost 50 years. We got 40 years of writers in this house. Stan 1, CS5, and then the new book that just came out. How you doing? I'm Manic 1 from the TVS, the Vamp Squad. With the spot here, we are bringing Staten Island graffiti back. How you doing? Braves 1 here, over at the Art Cypher. Should be fun today. This is the movement, and this is what's up. If it wasn't no us, it'd be no you. Woo! You understand what I'm saying?
Graffiti New York. I had Mad Burn in this book, and you know, like I was kind of really happy that he put me in. Yo, check this out. On the count of three. One, two, three. Who is the new Picassos? Who is the new Michelangelos? We are the new Michelangelos. We are the new Picassos. right here to my man Charlie man thank you for this great event we're having a great time right here this place is off the meat rack everybody should get this book right now it has a lot of history a lot of culture a lot of writers from all over and if you cop this book you would understand the history and the culture and the making of the graph cast the rock representing Manus Harbor been doing this since 1982 Got a big up to Braze because he inspired me. I went into that brother's room when I was 12 years old, and ever since then, I've been blazing it. There it is. We are witnessing history being made right now. Staten Island, we are in the building.